Hello everyone. In this session, let's understand the importance of training and development for achieving service excellence. Service excellence means consistently delivering exceptional service experiences that meet or exceed customer expectations. Training and development programs play a crucial role in equipping employees with the skills, knowledge, and mindset needed to achieve service excellence. Let's explore how understanding customer needs can be done through employee training. The first benefit of having employee training is to have enhanced understanding of customer needs. Well-trained employees possess the skills and knowledge necessary for achieving or effectively empathizing with customers and discerning their needs. Training equips employees with techniques for active listening and observation, allowing them to pick on subtle cues and signals from customers. By understanding customer needs, preferences, and pain points, employees can tailor their interactions and service delivery to better meet customer expectations. Secondly, training programs also requires improved communication skills. Training programs often focus on enhancing communication skills, such as verbal and nonverbal communication, empathy, and rapport building. Employees learn how to ask probing questions and engage in meaningful conversation with customers to uncover their underlying needs and motivations. Clear and effective communication enables employees to clarify customer requirements, address their concerns, and provide relevant solutions leading to more positive service experiences. Third benefit of having employee training is with respect to proactive problem solving. Through training, employees develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills that enable them to anticipate and address customer issues proactively. Training scenarios and role-playing exercises help employees practice identifying potential challenges and developing appropriate solutions. Well-trained employees are empowered to take initiative and resolve customer issues in a timely, and efficient manner, preventing dissatisfaction and building trust with customers. Another way is through tailored service delivery programs. Armed with a deep understanding of customer needs and preferences, employees can personalize the service experience to align with individual customer expectations. Training emphasizes the importance of flexibility and adaptability in responding to diverse customer requirements and preferences. Employees learn to tailor their approach, communication style, and service delivery methods to accommodate varying customer preferences, leading to higher levels of customer satisfaction and loyalty. Another way for which employee training is important because it builds trust and loyalty. When employees demonstrate an understanding of customer needs and an ability to address them effectively, it fosters trust and confidence in the organization. Customers appreciate when their needs are understood and met with empathy and responsiveness, which further strengthens the relationship and encourage repeat businesses. Ultimately, well-trained employees who understand customer needs play a pivotal role in building long-term customer loyalty and driving business success. So, a well-crafted training programs leads to employee engagement, motivated employee, and that leads to service excellence. So the first benefit, ultimate benefit here is building customer loyalty. Exceptional service experiences foster customer loyalty and retention. However, training programs help employees cultivate empathy, rapport building, and relationship management skills, strengthening the bond between the organization and its customers. Secondly, it's also important to note that these training programs can increase employee engagement. Investing in employee training and development demonstrate a commitment to employees' growth and success. Engaged employees are more motivated, productive, and enthusiastic about delivering exceptional service, contributing to a positive work culture and customer experiences. Third, such type of training programs drive business success. Service excellence lead to positive word of mouth, repeat business, and increase customer lifetime value. Organizations that prioritize training and development 
for service excellence gain a competitive edge attract and retain customers and achieve sustainable business growth and profitability let's understand some key components of training and development when it comes to services marketing the first key component here is onboarding and orientation which means introducing new employees to the organization's values culture and service standards why it is important introducing new employees to the organization values culture and service standards has various positives outcomes for the firm for example onboarding sets the foundation for employee success by familiarizing them with the organization's mission vision and core values onboarding helps new hires understand their role within the organization and align their expectations with company culture and expectations so what sort of activities can be conducted in this particular first key element for example during onboarding new employees may receive an overview of the company's history organization structure and key stakeholders they may also undergo training on company policies procedures and service standards additionally onboarding often includes introductions to team members and key department heads facilitating networking and relationship building The second key component of training and development is product and process training. This means educating employees on products, services and operational procedures to ensure accurate and efficient service delivery. Product and process training equips employees with the knowledge and skills necessary to perform their job duties effectively. By understanding the organization's offering and how to deliver them, employees can provide accurate information and assistance to customers leading to enhanced customer satisfaction and loyalty product training include lots of activities product training may include detailed information about the organization's product or service offerings features benefits and pricing process training focuses on operational procedures such as order processing inventory management and customer service protocols hands on exercises simulations and role playing scenarios may be used to reinforce learning and ensure practical application of knowledge third key component here is soft skills training that means developing interpersonal skills empathy communication and problem solving abilities to enhance customer interactions soft skills are essential for building rapport with customers understanding their needs and in delivering personalized services experience training in these areas help employees develop emotional intelligence active listening skills and effective communication techniques enabling them to connect with customers on a deeper level and address their concerns empathetically soft skills training include lots of activities for example module on active listening conflict resolution empathy assertiveness and verbal and nonverbal communication role playing exercises case studies and feedback sessions allow employees to practice and refine their soft skills in a supportive learning environment fourth component here is continuous learning that means providing ongoing training opportunities to keep employees updated on industry trends customer preferences and emerging technologies continuous learning ensures that employees stay informed and adaptable in rapidly evolving business environment by staying abreast of industry developments customer expectations and technological advancements employees can proactively identify opportunities for improvement and innovation driving service excellence and organizational success this includes lots of activities continuous learning initiatives may include workshops webinars conferences online courses and self paced learning modules these opportunities allow employees to deepen their knowledge and skills in specific areas of interest or relevant to their roles encouraging participation in industry events and networking opportunities also facilitate knowledge sharing and professional growth by investing in comprehensive training and development programs that cover these key components organizations can equip their employees with the knowledge skills and mindset needed to deliver exceptional service experiences and drive customer satisfaction loyalty and business success now let's understand some best practices for training and development the first here is tailor training programs to address the specific needs and challenges of employees in different roles and departments second 
incorporate interactive and experiential learning methods such as role playing simulations and real life scenarios to enhance engagement and retention third provide opportunities for feedback coaching and mentorship to support employees learning and development journeys fourth measure the impact of training programs on employee performance customer satisfaction and business outcomes to continuously improve and refine training initiatives now let's look at some service organization which are known for successful training and development programs the first here is of course disney institute disney institute a division of the walt disney company offers professional development programs focused on leadership customer service and employee engagement the screenshot that is on the screen showcase that discover the methods behind the magic and disney institute helps train and advise professionals from around the world in terms of leadership excellence employee engagement and quality service offerings disney's renowned disney university provides comprehensive training for employees known as cast members across various roles within the organization through immersive training experiences cast members learn about disney's culture values and service standards empowering them to deliver magical experiences to their guests have a look at this video that showcases that every role is a starring role at disney the video is from disney university's traditional assistant have a look at this video Hello, my name is Allison Clancy and I am a Disney University assistant here at the Disneyland Resort. Welcome to Every Role a Starring Role. As a Disney University Traditions assistant, I am responsible for teaching what we like to call our new hire orientation class. It's a great opportunity to welcome our newest cast members and to give them an opportunity to get to know the company as well as the company getting to know them. When you get a job with the Walt Disney Company, it's not just getting a job. It's like entering a new community. And I think that Traditions is particularly special because that's our chance to welcome those newest cast members. One of the things that's particularly exciting about your first day working at the Disneyland Resort is that we just want them to feel welcome. Uh each and every one of these people was chosen for very specific reasons and we're really excited that they're here. This is the beginning of their Disney story and I love being able to share that with them. I think it's a great way to kick off what could be an incredible career um, and the experience of a lifetime. You know, we talk the entire day about who we're earning our ears for, how we create happiness, and by the end of the day, they've earned their name tag. Nothing is as monumental as receiving your name tag as a cast member. I believe the traditions role brings magic to our guests because we are setting up each and every new cast member for success. We are showing them how to create magic. We're giving them the tools to make them successful. The traditions role cascades throughout the resort. When I'm not facilitating traditions, you can find me in Adventureland and Frontierland attractions. I am a working lead and trainer at the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. My very favorite part of being a traditions facilitator is getting to know the new cast members that come through the Disney University. I hope that people who come through my class are excited to leave and to go into their new role. Disney's commitment to training and development has contributed to its reputation for exceptional customer service and guest satisfaction. The company focus on creating memorable experiences. has resulted in loyal customers who return to disney parks and resorts year after year second example that we have is of another organization known as four seasons hotels and resorts four seasons offers a wide range of training programs for employees including leadership development service excellence and technical skills training the company emphasizes a golden rule philosophy where employees are encouraged to treat others as they would like to be treated Let's have a look at this particular video that talks about how different employees at Four Seasons are talking about their growth and possibility options at Four Seasons in terms of asking why someone should choose Four Seasons. Have a look at this video. I remember somebody telling me opportunities with Four Seasons don't come around often. And the reason why they don't come around often is because people don't leave. This is a company that is fantastic to work for and I knew that I would love to join this group. 
from day one, you are treated as family. And that is very important to me because it allows me to be myself. I think that's what inspires me day in and day out to continue working for Four Seasons. When I looked at Four Seasons website, I felt completely in love with what I was seeing. I made the decision to work in Four Seasons because I feel the respect and how they value their potential employees. For me, it's a big family. When I go home, I have my own family. When I come to work, I have my Four Seasons family, and I'm so glad for it. I have an immense sense of pride working for Four Seasons. It truly is the best of the best, and I absolutely love working for that. To work for Four Seasons is to have the opportunity to work in some of the world's most beautiful establishments, to be proud to work for a company where the golden rule is essential. The idea of treating others how we would like to be treated really, really resonates and goes deep down to my true beliefs and what I grew up with. In a way, just with that golden rule, it kind of feels like I didn't choose Four Seasons, but Four Seasons chose me. Four Seasons' dedication to employee training and development has resulted in consistently high levels of guest satisfaction and loyalty. By investing in its employees' growth and success, Four Seasons has built a reputation for unparalleled service excellence and has become a preferred choice for luxury travelers worldwide. Third example that we have here is again from Ritz Carlton Hotel Company. If you look at this particular screenshot from their Ritz Carlton Leadership Center, there are multiple courses that they are running. For example, the available on site programs and experiences, and also the audience for which these programs are designed for. So, it has programs ranging from engaging employees in an ever changing work environment, fundamentals of service, building success from within, a brand differentiation service, excellence in healthcare and so on. The Ritz-Carlton Leadership Center offers training programs focused on service excellence, employee engagement, and customer loyalty. The company's gold standards serve as a foundation for employee training and development, emphasizing values such as personalized service, attention to detail, and empowerment. Ritz-Carlton's rigorous training development programs have earned it numerous accolades for service excellence and guest satisfaction. By instilling a culture of service excellence throughout its organization, Ritz Carlton has established itself as a leader in the luxury hospitality industry and a preferred choice for discerning travelers. These examples demonstrate how service organizations can achieve service excellence and drive business success through strategic investments in employee training and development. By prioritizing the growth and development of their own employees, these organizations have been able to deliver exceptional service experiences that differentiate them from competitors and fostering long-term customer loyalty. Now going ahead, let's understand some challenges and strategies when it comes to implementing training and development programs. The first challenge here is budget constraints. Limited financial resources may hinder organizations from investing in comprehensive training and development programs. So what is the solution here? First, prioritize. Identify critical training needs and focus resources on initiatives that align with organizational goals and priorities. Second strategy, leverage technology. Explore cost-effective training solutions such as online courses, webinars, and e-learning platforms to reduce training expenses. Third strategy, seek external funding. Look for grants, sponsorships, or even partnerships with educational institutions or government agencies to supplement training budgets. And fourth strategy is measuring ROI. Demonstrate the return on investment of training programs by tracking key performance indicators such as improved customer satisfaction, employee engagement, and business outcomes. Second challenge deals with time limitations. Busy work schedules and operational demands may make it challenging to allocate time for training activities. So what is the solution here? The first strategy here is having flexible learning options. Firms can offer flexible training options such as self-paced modules, 
lunch and learn sessions, or micro learning courses that accommodate employees' schedules. Second strategy here is to go for incorporating training into daily operations itself. Firms can integrate training activities into employees' daily workflows to minimize disruptions and maximize learning opportunities. Third strategy here is again prioritizing training time. Communicate the importance of training to employees and managers, emphasizing its role in enhancing performance and driving organizational success. And finally, provide supportive environment. Create a culture that values learning and development, where employees feel encouraged and supported to prioritize training and skill development. Third challenge here is resistance to change. Employees may resist training initiatives due to fear of change, perceived threats to job security, or even skepticism about the value of training. The first solution for this challenge is communicate purpose and benefit. Clearly communicate the purpose and objectives of training programs, highlighting the benefits to both employees and the organization. Second strategy, address concerns. Address employee concerns and misconceptions about training through open and transparent communication. Provide opportunities for dialogue and feedback to address fears and uncertainties. Third strategy can be engage leadership. Gain buy-in and support from senior leaders and managers who play a crucial role in championing training initiatives and modeling a commitment to continuous learning. Fourth strategy can be involving employees themselves. Involve employees in the design and implementation of training programs, soliciting their input and feedback to increase ownership and engagement. By proactively addressing these common challenges and implementing strategies to overcome them, service providers can successfully implement training and development programs that empower employees, drive performance improvement, and contribute to organization's success. So in this session, we try to understand the importance of training and development for achieving service excellence. Thank you.